Good evening, I'm Greg Kerr. Kelly has the night off. Thank you so much for joining us. Sergeant Anthony Maddox came home for the last time today. The Nederland High School graduate died last week from injuries after a fueling accident in Afghanistan. And today, hundreds lined the streets throughout Mid-County to pay final respects to a fallen soldier. Here's KFDM's Leslie Rangel. A lone flight touches down at the Jack Brooks Regional Airport. Those here stood silent. Some saluted. An honor guard unloaded the casket of Army Sergeant Anthony Maddox. And at that point, the realization of the family hits as to what it is. The hard realization that the friend, brother, son, and soldier gave the ultimate sacrifice for his country at the age of 22. Until then, you've just been told that it's that realization now, once you're unloaded and they load you up with that military escort, that I feel for the family, I've been praying for this family. His family stays close to travel the final miles of the journey home. But along the way, along the streets of Southeast Texas, people who didn't know him put aside everything else. Some call him friend. Unfortunately, I never served, but I just want to, this is the least that I can do is show my respect to him. It's just sad, but it's an honor to support. Others, a brother in arms. It, it really warms my heart to see the turnout of the people that's out here, knowing what he's coming home to, people that respect him and love him versus what we come back to in the 60s to the demonstrations. A soldier, Sergeant Anthony Maddox comes home. A soldier who was not forgotten. They might miss him, but now he's in God's army and he's fighting a battle there. And he's where we can't be right now. In Port Arthur, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. The funeral starts tomorrow morning at 10 at Gabriel Funeral Home over in Port Arthur.